Premier Boxing Champs, NBC, Heyman Boxing, first ever kickoff event, let's go. What up, Fight World, it's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. You know, AB, about broadcast, Mr. NBC. So, I'm here for my prediction, Broner versus Molina. Now, before I start, I gotta say this. I think this is a good fight, and I really like what Al Heyman has done as far as the event. I mean, I've seen commercials galore. I've seen billboards. I've seen just things we're not used to seeing in terms of putting these fighters back in the spotlight. Like questionnaires, like Q&As with Keith Thurman, Q&As with Robert Guerrero, where, where they're more interactive with the fans. I think this is all great because the public really needs to buy these young champions, these young fighters, and see who they are as people, not just a machine or, or a product or whatnot. So... I really like that about Premier Boxing Champs. Now, as far as my prediction, this is a difficult. Both Actually, both fights on this card are pretty difficult because, you know, I take this prediction shit seriously, and, and my prediction streak was, was pretty good last year leading up to this year. I don't think I've been wrong on any of the produc uh, predictions that I've done. So the reason it's hard is because Adrian Broner, I view him as a loose cannon type. And what I mean by that is I don't know how Broner is going to act. Like, I've seen him put on, in my in, in my opinion, um, very good performances. Like his performance against Antonio DeMarco. I thought that was his best performance. Very complete. And that was the number one rated lightweight at the time. He was a champion. And Broner made him look easy. This is a guy that went rounds with Edwin Valero. So... You got to give DeMarco credit. And he was coming off of a stoppage of John Molina, the guy Broner's now facing at 140. So the thing with Broner is he like sometimes he likes to joke around. He balloons up in his off season. When I see that type of fluctuation, it makes me hard to like to gauge where his head's at mentally. You know what I mean? Just you haven't seen much of the World Star videos and him on social media and stuff as much. So hopefully he matured a bit. He just recently had a kid. But still... I mean, it's not, you don't just do, not do it for two months and then I, I automatically forget. So I don't know what type of Broner is going to show up. So it makes it hard. I'm going to pick Broner to win this fight via decision. I want to say um, a unanimous decision. But again, it, it's hard to pick him because there's a there's always that doubt that like he does weird things. Like I would say Broner versus Maidana. You got knocked down. You were losing the fight. And you choose to like butt fuck and dry hump Maidana to joke around in a fight you're losing. Like stuff like that, it doesn't really add up for me. I don't understand why you would do that when you're down on pretty much all the scorecards, got knocked down, etc. Why is that the first thing you, you think to do? The Prince Nassim showboat and Roy Jones showboat stuff is cool. But them guys, when they were doing it, most of the time they were commanding the action and they were well in full control of the fight. Broner versus Maidana, he wasn't, yet he, he still elected to do that. So there there's certain little things that he does that is just weird, both inside the ring and outside the ring, that makes it a gamble. Because I look at John Molina, he's he's big for 140, and he, he packs a punch. And I think this fight is very do or die for, for Molina. Now, when it comes to the reason why I'm picking Broner, I'm picking Broner because I think he's the superior athlete. I think he's more athletically gifted, the speed. And if he fights the fight he should fight, then he shouldn't have any problems. But you always have that chip on your shoulder where, where Broner could get into a situation like Mickey Bay. I think John Molina has proven time and time again that he's an upset specialist. He did that against Hammer and Hank Lundy. He did it against Mickey Bay. And that's all it takes in this sport. And it's on NBC, the first ever kickoff event. There's a lot on the line, especially for John Molina, who lost his last two fights. No fighter in this climate wants to go... This is not like the UFC where you can have 6 to 11 losses and the fans still embrace you. Boxing is different. Boxing fans are very fickle. So I feel like John Molina, this is really do or die for him because it'll be not only it'll be two not only losses on his it'll be his third consecutive loss, not including all of his losses, just his third consecutive one. So um I think a lot's on the line. It's just, again, how Broner decides to come out. Will he come out like Timothy Bradley did versus Marquez and box the right type of fight? Or will he box like Bradley did versus Provotnikov where he fights reckless and he's trying to joke around and stuff like that? And that's definitely why I'm tuning in because it makes it very, very intriguing because 
we know Molina has the equalizer. But again, based on athleticism, um, based on the fact that I have seen Broner tone it down a bit in recent memory in terms of like the joking and, and the commentary and the, the sideline antics and stuff like that, I'm going to go with Broner for the unanimous decision. But John Molina is definitely in the fight because he's big, he's taller than Broner, so he has that height and I believe a reach advantage or the reach might be close, but he has that equalizer. And John Molina, he's not the most fundamentally sound dude. However, he has one gear, and that one gear could be enough to defeat a guy like Broner if Broner doesn't fight the right type of fight, if that makes sense. John Molina is going to come to pressure you. And in the past, Broner has showed pressure bus pipes. In the Madonna fight, pressure was getting to him. Maidana's a bit bigger and that was a higher division, but still, it was the pressure and the volume and how I feel like everyone's going to use that particular fight as a quote-unquote blueprint. You le even look at the Pauli Malignaggi. He doesn't even pack that much of a punch, but in those early rounds, Broner wasn't active enough. And, and I never understood. I don't know if he has stamina issues, but I never understood why Broner, when he's young, fly, and flashy in the ring and when he lets his hands go, is beautiful. Like You just see some like sharp combinations and he's just ripping. Like, he does this, like, it's like this hook slash uppercut. I call it a hooper cut. And it is beautiful. It's the it's the punch that, that floored Emmanuel Taylor. But the thing is, sometimes in certain fights, like Carlos Molina, Pauli Malignaggi, off the top of my head, he only gives that to you in spots. I thought, I mean, obviously he was coming off a loss, so maybe it was a confidence thing. But in the Carlos Molina fight, he, he looked good in spots, but not entirely like after the performance it was on the Mayweather undercard I wasn't like impressed I was impressed with Amir Khan versus Luis Colazzo but I wasn't really impressed with Broner he won he won convincingly but it still wasn't a great performance look at Peter Quillen versus Lucas Konecki same type of situation yeah he won he clearly dominated but given that level of opposition I expected more and that's kind of what it was for Broner but maybe I'll give him a pass just because that was his first loss that was his first fight after his first loss so maybe he had to get it together. And it was his first fight at 140. So, um, like I said, I'm, I'm rocking with Broner. I think John Molina, he's a live dog. I just think his uh, deficiencies, if Broner has the right game plan, which it sounds like hopefully he's taking it serious. His weight looks regulated and stuff like that. He should be able to to win this. But like I said, John Molina's a live dog. I'm rocking with Broner based on the reasons that I gave you guys in the video. And check out my dude, Billy D. does a song. The ring entrance song for John Molina. I'll put it at the end of this video. Make sure you check it. Drop a comment. Let me know what your prediction is for Broner versus Molina. What you think of PBC and the whole event. And how do you break this fight down? Drop me a comment. Let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like my video. As always, hate, comment, and subscribe. Till next video is Ego signing off. The gladiators here. Oh, and I made the haters cheer. And I'm not a Shorty over there popping it. I love you. Back to the warfare. Back to the right hand. Cracking your jaw. Yeah. Radiators all over the world. Fist up if this is your song. Throw it up and get locked tonight if you came in here to get it on.